Hi, it's time for a little bit of New Tone nostalgia. So back in the late 1980s, New Tone actually came out with a whole array of what turned out to be pretty silly and goofy products. And one of those silly and goofy products was the New Tone built-in hairdryer model HD100. This was only manufactured or available for a couple of years. It disappears from the catalogs in 1991. So I think they only made it for two years or so. The idea was it was a wall mounted electric hair blow dryer that you could just pick up the wand and dry your hair. Just like this very attractive gal is doing here. The idea behind it was space saving convenience for the luxury bath, vacation home, or poolside cabana. Cause you know, if you have a poolside cabana, you can't have one of those blow dryers in the drawer. That's just not gonna swing it. What are the neighbors gonna say? It was safe because there was nothing electrical to touch. Everything is plastic and it's all wired up electrically inside. So I suppose you could stand in a puddle of shower water in your bare feet and grab it and you're not going to get electrocuted. And that's always good because we don't want to electrocute our customers. That would be bad. It's convenient. It's always there when you need it. That's right. It saves space because it's eliminating clutter on the vanitory. I always thought it was a vanity, but it says vanitory wash bowl. So I, okay, dries hair quickly and gently. It seems like it's got everything going for it. And yes, I know this is a little hard to see, but what I will do is I'm gonna scan both sides of this and I'm gonna post it on our YouTube community section page. And if you go to our YouTube homepage and you look for the little tab that says community, there's all kinds of interesting little documents and things that I post that you can see and look at closely. And if you wanna read all this, you can do that. HD 100 built-in hair dryer, convenience, it's light weight because you know you don't want to have to pick up one of those heavy heavy blow dryers that wouldn't be any good it's durable and are tough and durable top quality materials and the wall mount installation means the motor and the other vital parts will never be dropped has a handsome design easy installation that's true you mount it on the wall wire it up and you're done designed for the safe use in the bathroom dries hair quickly and gently space saver instant easy use. It seems like we're just going over the same facts on the second side of the page as we did on the first one. And this catalog sheet, this is from June of 1988. Some of the other goofy products, which we will not be covering in this video today, were the built-in pants presser, because everybody needed one of those. So the pants presser trudged on for a lot longer than the hair dryer did. Even when I had my retail walk-in store, guess how many pants pressers I ever sold? None. Zero. Nobody's buying pants pressers. The other thing that they made, which was odd and unusual, was they made one of these kitchen instant hot water dispensers. You know, like the ones Insincorator makes that everybody has that you can make a cup of soup or a cup of tea with. Newtone made one of those too. Newtone doesn't make plumbing products. And let me tell you, no self-respecting Newtone service guy, me for instance, or anybody else that I knew, they didn't want to go work on one of those. We're not plumbers. We're sort of electricians. So that is a bad idea. Why do they have some of those products? Well, it all sort of goes back to the 80s. And if you remember back in the 80s, if you were around in those days, you know, the whole uh, Wolf of Wall Street leverage buyout kind of thing that was going on in the corporate world back in those days. Well, Newtown was sold and purchased a couple times in a very short number of years. And every time they were purchased by another large corporation, after they plundered the assets, sold off land, got rid of products that sold really well, and fired people right and left trying to recover all the money that they spent to buy the company, they tried to incorporate products from other divisions of other companies that they made. And yes, there was the, the hot water dispensers. That's when we were owned by a company called Williams. They were an English company. They made hot water dispensers. So obviously we needed to sell them also. But anyway, that's all for another video. Let's take a look at an HD100. And here we have it in all of its glory, or stylish convenience, I guess, is a real, honest to goodness, Newtone HD100 wall-mounted hair dryer. And this came from my friend Clark, who used to be a Newtone service center. And I did a video where I went up to his shop in Santa Rosa, California, and brought back a whole van load worth of stuff that he didn't want anymore. This was in the pile. So here you go. And this actually, I think, has found a home because I was contacted by a viewer of this channel who really wants this. I told him I would check it out and see if it worked. I didn't know if it did or not. It turns out 
that it does. So let's go ahead and open it up. We have this sort of nice ivory colored case here. We have the hand wand nozzle -y thing here. And we have, it's attached to what is commonly referred to as a slinky hose. Slinky hose is really short, but you can stretch it out quite a bit. According to the catalog sheet, it stretches out 60 inches, which I don't know about that. Maybe, yeah, probably, but it's 60 inches. And the way this is supposed to work is this has metal tabs in it and there are actually magnets down here that I'll show you and there's a on off switch so this attaches like this and the magnets hold it in place just like that look at that it did it and it's all turned on and ready to go and when you pull it off like this it turns on automatically and you can style your hair remember it was the end of the 80s big hair disco all that stuff there is down here a primary on-off switch. This particular unit, I do have it sort of jury rigged up just a little bit. We'll take the cover off. And inside of it, there's not a whole lot. There's a blower assembly here and there's a conical heat element down in here. No, I'm not gonna take this apart because I don't think there's a lot of payoff in doing that. All it's gonna be is a motor with a squirrel cage blower of some type and the conical heat element down here. And since somebody wants this, I'm not gonna break it. So he sounds like he really wants it. So we'll just have to imagine what it looks like inside. There are two switches. Here's the primary switch down here, which you can access through the bottom. When this is off, the whole thing is off. So typically you would leave this turned on. And right here is a micro switch. And the micro switch is attached to the little plungery thing over here. So when you hang up the nozzle, it pushes it in and turns off the unit. The micro switch, the wires that come off of it are missing. It has spade lugs on it and they're very small. They're much smaller than average. I, I couldn't find any here at the shop that were that size. So I'll have to get a couple to make up a little bit of a wiring harness for the fella, but that's not really such a big deal. So right now I just have it wired into 110 on a power cord and it's just plugged into the wall plug over there. We'll have to pretend. When you take the wand off, it will turn on and it runs and it's hot. If this was keto vision, you could see how hot it is. I don't know exactly, but according to, well, enough of that. It's kind of noisy. According to the catalog sheet, it produces 850 watts, which is a little on the small side for a blow dryer, at least in today's world. I'm not sure what blow dryers were rated for back in the late 80s, but I know that uh, one of the ones we have at our house, I think it's like 1,250 watts. So 850 is maybe a little on the small side, but I suppose all the built-in added convenience and safety makes it worth it if it takes a couple extra minutes. It does seem to have pretty good airflow. There is no airflow rating on it. It's not super forceful, but it's probably forceful enough. You know, it's kind of nice on a cool day. Warm yourself up. I don't know. It's an interesting product. Since it only lasted for a couple years, I can't honestly say this was just around the time that I started my business and this was not something that I ever had on display or sold any of. I don't think anybody bought too many of them. I've also done no service calls on it. So they're either really, really, really trouble free or when they break, People just throw them away and buy something else. There are lots of other modern companies nowadays that make them. If you stay at any kind of halfway decent hotel or motel even, usually they have like in the bathroom, they'll have like a sunbeam or some other little units. They're usually much smaller than this, and but they give you something. So, you know, it's kind of the same basic idea. I suppose like a lot of Newtone products, if this had become an HD 200 and it had gone through a revision cycle, it might have turned into something that was actually things that people actually bought but it didn't so they didn't so that's pretty much it just a really quick look at a little 
little bit of new tone nostalgia. Uh, I'm going to finish cleaning this up. It's got a few little scratches and things on it that I think will clean off the plastic nicely. It is a very well made case. I'll give you that. It's pretty thick. It's not flimsy at all. It seems kind of flexy here, but by the time you mount it on the case and it snaps on and there's two screws under the decorative trim here that hold it in place, it's a pretty well made unit. I think the uh, nozzle here, this is sort of a hard styrene type plastic and I think you would want to be careful because if you drop this on the floor, you know, if you had a tile floor or something in your bathroom, if you dropped it too many times, I can envision this cracking pretty easily. So you want to be pretty careful with it, especially when it's hanging here like this. So you don't want to put it in a place that's going to get bumped into a whole lot. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting and maybe for somebody, if you have one of these and you still use it, leave some comments down below. Let us know how it's working out for you. You know, you've had the thing for like almost 40 years. So, you know, let us know how it's working for you. Did find it interesting and perhaps helpful, please give us a thumbs up because that helps us just a little bit. There'll be a banner right here that shows you how to subscribe. Go to our YouTube homepage, click on the bell, and when you click on the bell, click on it to receive all notifications, and every time we post a new video, you'll get a notification, and you can watch it. That's all for today. Stay tuned for more Newtone Nostalgia. See ya.